darkness, the absence of light. Where there is no light, no life in this world is conceivable. The sun, source of energy and center of our solar system. It has been worshiped by countless peoples for millennia. It has been elevated to the status of a god because of its light and life-giving energy. For centuries, people have known that they need the sun in order to live. Some visionaries realized early on that light would one day become one of man's most important tools. For four decades now, that vision has been turned into a daily reality. A beam of light needs eight minutes and 19 seconds to reach the Earth from the sun. In eight minutes and 19 seconds, that ray of sunshine will have arrived on the Earth. At a speed of almost 300,000 kilometers a second, it transports energy in the form of light. The characteristics of light have fired the imaginations of scientists in this century and the last. Science's exploration of light finally led to the invention of the laser and to the laser's success in almost all sectors of technology and modern life. The man who paved the way was Albert Einstein. As early as 1917, Einstein described the basic principles of stimulated emission, which would lead to the invention of the laser. By pure logic, Einstein proposed that there had to be an until then unknown type of light emission that would allow us to control the characteristics of light to a degree that was not dreamt possible before. In 1917, Einstein was the director of the renowned Kaiser Wilhelm Institute of Physics in Berlin. The whole of Europe was in the final throes of a devastating world war. Four years later, in 1921, he was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics for his groundbreaking theories about light. At that time, a young boy in Greenville in far off South Carolina was just six years old. His name? Charles Hard Towns. One day, Towns would study physics, and his fundamental work in the field of quantum electronics enabled the construction of the very first masers and lasers. It was the American Towns, as well as the Russians Basov and Prokhorov from the Lebedev Institute in Moscow, who thought Einstein's ideas through to the end. 43 years after Einstein, in 1964, they received the Nobel Prize for their work. Four years before that, the world had already seen the amazing invention based on these theoretical principles. 1960, at the Olympic Games in Rome, Armin Hari wins the gold medal in the 100 meters sprint and is the first man to cover that distance in 10 seconds, a speed which most people considered inconceivable and the speed of light was far beyond imagination. The amazing properties of light attracted scientists all over the world, one of them being Theodore Maimon. The same year that Armin Hari won that gold medal in Rome, young scientist Theodore Maimon presented experts the first laser ever. People still did not quite know what Maimon's new invention could be used for. An invention searching for an application was the scornful opinion, even in the technical press they couldn't have been more wrong. The laser was a groundbreaking technology that would find applications in every sector of modern life and activity. It was an invention that triggered innovations itself. The laser began an unstoppable campaign of victory from the moment it left Maimon's laboratory. 